John, I'm going to start with you. Last time you were fought in Hitman Fight League, you have to get yourself off the canvas. The yeah. fight before that, you lost by KO. I did Oh you, yeah, I did, yeah. You did. I fought the last one uh, Hitman. You did, it must have affected you more than you actually <laughs> remember, because I did. But anyway, nevertheless, you had to drag yourself up off the floor. The thing that I'm thinking about with this man to my left is, you can't afford to be down three times because he's not going to let you up. No. The whole, are you, do you realise this? I will go down. Good. So what have you done in your camp to change the, um, the game plan? What is, what, you know what's in front of you? Yeah. This is a, a British Muay Thai legend. His brother is steeped in history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His father, a fantastic, um, a fantastic coach who I know, know very well. But this is a real stern test. You've always, always took stern tests, but this is a stern test, especially with being in this country, isn't it? Yeah, I've watched him since I was a kid. You know what I mean? Like obviously, I, as I was coming up through juniors and like coming up through the ranks, he was top boy. Do you know what I'm saying? So like, I've watched him since I was a kid. So obviously, my training's up to anywhere. We're doing a lot more sparring rounds and stuff like that. I feel like in the past, sometimes I have joked around a bit too much, but when it comes to training, I've always been bang on it. Yeah, there's no doubt about your heart. You can't question that. There is, you know, that was a, th a thriller. <laughs> but for me. As a, as a, a former coach and as a, and as a spectator and a, and a fan of yours, I don't want to see that every time. No. And no one wants to see that every time because it's, you know, it's not what you're meant to do. What is it like being told when uh, Simon, Andy, Liam told you about you're going to be fighting this man on your left? What did, what did that Yeah, got me on for it. All game, game for it. Obviously, like I say, he's a UK legend. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But I want to prove myself. I want to become a legend. Do you know what I mean? To become a legend, you've got to beat a legend, so... Yeah, I'm up for it. OK. Michael, known you a long time, former Infusion champion, um, enjoyed your fights, and even back when I had a gym, you fought on the same shows as some of my boxers, so that's how old I am. The young man on your right, you know about him, you've seen him, you've seen him perform, yet you're nearly old enough to be his dad. What's the motivation to keep you going? Motivation is... I'd just love the sport. Uh, I had like five years out of fighting and I just weren't happy, my happy place. When I got back fighting and training again, I got back into my happy place and it's, it's what I enjoy doing. I absolutely love it. Yeah, we can, we've seen, I've seen you so many times in the five years that you had your hiatus, if you will. Um, you were probably missed on the scene, especially with the, the fans that you have. The young man on your right, you obviously know how what a reputation the gym has got a reputation that he's got what do you have to do to put him in his place if you will? yeah he's jim him he's got a very good reputation he's actually uk number one i believe at 72 and a half kilos in the uk uh what i've got to do i've got to do what i do best is put it on him and put the pressure on him and that's what i'm planning to do on the night the only, have you ever been down before I've, I've, I, I, because I've seen many of your fights, but I have never seen you wobbled. I know you fought Ali Gunya a few years ago uh, at the O2, and he was a vastly experienced operator. But have you been? Have you touched the canvas before? I got one eight count uh, that same year, two thousand thirteen. Uh, Paddington took. Okay. Uh, so yeah, round one. Believe it's and, and that's no that's that's no uh, upset really because Pajansuk so, I yeah. know boxed in the army for Thailand so he was an Olympian as well so there's no shame in that. Okay, what have you got to do to keep this kid in his place? Because compared to you, no disrespect, he is a kid. What have you got to do to keep him? I've confident? got to put the pressure on him. I'm I'm putting it on him from the beginning, uh, and let's see what he can come up with because. My thing is, I don't think he could deal with my pressure, but we're going to see it in the night, anyway. What's your final word? So not only to Joe, but there's a lot of fans. I know you've got a big, big following. What's your word to, to Joe and alongside that to your fans as well? What's, what's Expect that? fireworks for the night, but I'm walking away with that title and I'm winning the fight. Joe? Incorrect. Michael, can we have a handshake? Yeah. Possibly.